Hundreds of people died on Kentucky roads last year. WDRB's Molly Judd explains how experts say one simple action could have saved a lot of lives. Molly. More than 800 people died on a Kentucky highway last year, but now they are saying that you're not wearing a seatbelt. In a matter of seconds, I really had no time to react. Tony Tapman lost consciousness. I think every day about how bad that could have been had I not been wearing a seatbelt. In 2018, on the way to work, she braced for impact. I mean, I could have gone through that windshield. I could have, you know, been ejected from the vehicle. Tapman says another driver was speeding. Uh, it could have been so much worse for me and I could have ended up with, you know, far more injuries or, you know, must, something more significant. Totaling her car and putting her in the hospital. Um, between the seatbelts and the airbags, I, I'll never, I'll never be without a seatbelt ever. I mean, I, I always wore a seatbelt, but like after an experience like that, always, I'll always wear a seatbelt. She credits her seatbelt for saving her life. I am, you know, living proof that it helped save my life. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet recently reported the 2023 Kentucky Highway deaths. 813 people died. That's the highest the state has seen since 2016. We see it all the time. 51% were not wearing a seatbelt. About 33% involved speeding or aggressive drivers. 20% involved driver distraction. And 16% involved alcohol. If we have everybody buckling up, then you know, our, our fatalities are on the roadways are going to decrease significantly. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, wearing a seatbelt gives you the best chance of preventing injury or death in a crash. Seatbelts are a way of life. You have to just, why not protect yourself? The Bardstown Police Department plans on running its click it or ticket campaign later this month, but for now, seconds matter, so you need to buckle up. Live with photojournalist Neil Johnson, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.